So when I just read dipping challenge on this iceberg, I didn't really think it could have been like anything too severe or stupid. How bad could it, how bad could it really be though? It can't, dipping doesn't even sound too crazy. I don't even know how bad this could really be like that. The dipping challenge is where dudes dip their nuts into the sauce. <laughs> okay, you got me. This video is called the dumbest TikTok trend iceberg. Now, we've seen a lot of trends and a lot of people who talk about trends, but TikTok trends in particular, there are a lot of trends and a lot of stupid trends. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Tide Pod, I'm pretty sure that came from TikTok. The whole licking Corona toilet seat joint, pretty sure that came from TikTok. There's a lot of dumb stuff. Like, and with any platform, it's all going to be a dumb trend that came through, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go ahead and watch it. The dumbest trick talk turn iceberg, let's go. The devious lick, AKA the nefarious lick or the diabolical lick is a viral challenge that happened in 2021 where high schoolers would basically just steal or destroy stuff from their classes. And this trend started on TikTok when a user- yeah, nigga knew his place, nigga know your place, fuck nigga. Know your place, bitch. Timed out, nigga. Don't talk to me like that, nigga. You, you don't got it like that, nigga. Know your place, nigga. Brent the Beast, thank you for the prime. Jug for Elias showed themselves stealing a box of face masks from school with the caption reading, a month into school, devious lick. Now, of course, with anything on TikTok, kids began upping their game, eventually stealing pencils, toilet paper, and then entire sinks, urinals, and toilets how the f do they steal that anyway? And get I seen a whole nigga take. I seen a per somebody take a fucking locker in a bus once. That devious lick trend has to be one of the worst trends that has come out in this decade. Literally, niggas was really getting expelled. Whole school careers done. Like this shit is ridiculous. Given that these students were straight up committing a crime, they were stealing from you know the school facilities. A lot of parents and teachers were pretty concerned that their students would start begin committing crimes in their own school. And the police obviously warned students from pulling devious licks. This trend also sparked a conspiracy theory that Facebook started the devious lick trend to sabotage TikTok's reputation. You know, poor Mark Zuckerberg wiping his teeth. Nigga, the devious lick trend happened because bad kids like, like to just do crazy So many of y'all still think the devious lick trend is funny. I didn't think this shit was funny. I'm not gonna hold you. Like, it was, it was, it was cool when they taking pencils started to steal buses and somebody stole an entire school this million billion dollars because he wasted it all on the metaverse anyways soon tiktok began banning all the devious lick videos and that effectively killed the trend in fact it did start an anti-trend called angelic yields where instead of people stealing stuff they actually donated yeah. and uh, replaced all the stolen items to their school you know niggas just took that shit right back after so let's say you're looking yourself in the mirror right and you see that your eyes are could be a little more brighter your little irises your color the eye color so this trend started for those who want to have brighter eyes you would grab yourself a plastic bag then fill it up with hand sanitizer shaving cream and bleach then you would tie up that concoction bag and then put it against your eye that's a that that should have called it the natural selection challenge because that's really what it is i'm not gonna hold you this is why some trends are dangerous could literally tell you to do a semi a semi uh circle backflip off a uh, 10 story building in GTA. Don't do that, by the way. And then be like, oh, okay, it's a trend. I have to do it. Like, come on, bro. Why would I don't understand? I don't get it. For a few minutes. And then suddenly, would you look at that? Your eye is a lot brighter. Right? No! 
nah -uh. nah this is fake of course it's fake it's tiktok any social media anything you see on the internet is probably fake the user that started the trend admitted that they faked the effect using a little editing trickery to brighten up her eye in the post process and section and some that also faked the effect used colored contact lenses of course there are some that believe these tiktoks and actually did this uh trend and now they just have bleach searing into their eyes As niggas really will set you up for failure on these trends especially you. if the bag ruptures optometrists do not recommend doing this challenge as they cautioned that doing this challenge could harm the cornea and could cause blindness okay so basically the throw it up challenge is that you have your phone like this facing up in the sky you got you gotta look down at the oh, phone I remember this. I remember and you this. throw something in the air you pray it doesn't hit you. <laughs> Some of these items that are thrown in the air could include mostly harmless stuff like this was throwing book bags. I remember that. But of course, with any trend on TikTok, someone has to up up the stakes to get more views and attention, and that leads to them almost unaliving themselves, as you'd say. Yeah, I gotta watch what I say, you know, YouTube nowadays. So some people would throw like no. So many TikTokers have opted to get DIY vampire fangs i'm not sure why i guess they just want like to look cute ooh woo whatever sh it's like those people who think themselves as wolf what are they called a roommate what are the people called that um you know like they have like they're like wolves inside themselves what? other kin okay thank you yeah they're like other kin i guess they're they think they're like vampires on the inside or something and uh they decide to get some fangs some just glue on those fake vampire grill this they be on the cringe comps these motherfuckers be the same motherfuckers on the cringe comp that i really question where their parents at in gta by the way and nobody has the answer for me those that you get at a halloween store others legit go to the dentist and get real ass like fake fangs thousand dollar fangs come on sis. go to the dentist and get real ass like come on sis that's bad. That's bad looks. That's bad looks, bro. How did dentists know they wrong for even co-signing this? Big fangs, thousand dollar fangs, like veneer style. Um, doesn't really seem like a challenge. It's more like body modification. Body modification has been around way longer than TikTok has. So, so the kick door challenge. This is basically like newer reinventation of the ding dong ditch but instead of ringing the doorbell or just knocking on the door politely then uh hauling your ass out before the guy answers you just kick the hell out of the door and I then you blast your ass off Dude, really fast you know i thought okay this is kind of an annoying prank kind of stupid but and then i realized gun owners exist and many people have answered these doors locked and loaded so the kick door challenge really led to many teenagers finding out the around and find out lesson that there is going to tell me how much i have to f around to find out what i need to find out the mm. more you f around the more you're going to find, find out. out this That's one doesn't seem that bad the frozen honey challenge is where you get some honey pour it in some water bottle and then freeze it overnight and then you can just have this taffy like treat where you can just squeeze the honey out i'm not gonna lie that sounds fucking the bottle disgusting. and take a bite out that sounds fucking disgusting a bit now most of the tiktoks of this challenge consist of people trying out the frozen honey and it looks like a schlong when you squeeze it out of the bottle and then they just eat it you know it seems like a neat trick to making a tasty treat it seems that some of the tiktokers have enjoyed the frozen honey a little too much as some have gotten an upset stomach from eating too much honey for example uh avery cyrus a tiktoker who has six and a half million followers made a tiktok with the caption brb gotta go get my stomach pumped that has been viewed over 15 million times this is because she heard of the trend and tried it like the candy so much that she ate a lot of it and now she has to go to the hospital because she ate too much uh honey okay i don't know if that's true but i don't think that like niggas would anything edible related on tiktok i don't think you should follow just like the pink sauce so the nutmeg challenge is where tick mm. TikTokers would mix the spiced nutmeg with uh. a whole glass of milk or water and then they would film themselves drinking it and then they soon realize they're getting on 
Apparently, large amounts of nutmeg can actually lead to people tripping balls, which is the main incentive of why people do this in the first place. You know, they would see like the walls melting or they see like shadow people in the corner or something like that. And they just act extremely intoxicated. Now, I'm sure you've seen the chubby emu video of the guy who drank, who did the nutmeg challenge. And to basically sum up that video, a uh, large amount of nutmeg can kill you. In GTA, in GTA, oh my God. Well, I'm not surprised that you shouldn't be consuming that much at once. Symptoms of consuming a huge amount of nutmeg include dry mouth, hallucin- Holy hell, hold on, go back, go back, go back. Please go back, please go back. Symptoms of consuming a huge amount of nutmeg include dry mouth. Nigga, if your tongue ever looks like the concrete roadway, bro, if it ever looked like a, if it ever looked like a uh, a Detroit highway, just call it, just call it a wrap. Just call it a wrap. Just call it a wrap at that point. Hallucinations, uh, getting really agitated, and hyperthermia. Now, some people did the challenge because they thought the people that already did the nutmeg challenge were like faking it. And that led to people trying the challenge and finding out that the ramifications in the worst way possible. As with- That's why I just take people word for word for it, bro. If they Say, don't look at this video like you know we ever see them dumb tiktok joints and it'd be on twitter and it'd be like yo i checked the replies don't look at the video don't look at the video and then it'll, it'll give you the twitter user but you're like yo don't check the video but nobody will tell you what the video is so out of curiosity you'll go to look at the video don't do it just take their word for it just take their word for it any dangerous challenge of course tiktok stepped in and they later removed all of the videos that of people attempting the nutmeg challenge the silhouette challenge now this is a very hey silhouette challenge silhouette challenge was valid the silhouette challenge put your head on my i ain't gonna do it but like sil silhouette challenge was valid spicy challenge so there's this filter on TikTok that makes your entire room lit like red and it leaves yourself as a shadowed silhouette. Now many use this filter to make, you know, thirst traps and body positivity, time. which I can get behind, you know, shouldn't be ashamed of yourself. But the one thing I can't get behind with are creepy ass people trying to reverse the effect. You see, because the filter just leaves yourself as a silhouette, some TikTokers chose to wear very light or revealing clothing sometimes not at all and that led to a lot of people wanting to reverse the effect now apparently there are a lot of youtube tutorials clickbaiting how there's to no way niggas was trying to be like how to how to remove the red like i'm not gonna hold you if you were that down bad in life bro you might want to go consider therapy reverse TikTok silhouette filter Show us, this is an age restricted okay but this is twitch not youtube so guidelines are different just being careful using kind master or how to remove the red light filter from the silhouette challenge i haven't looked into whether or not these tutorials actually worked or not i haven't tried them myself i'm not a f***ing creepo but tiktokers are now warning against people from using the filter because apparently these tutorials may work be very careful i am the expert on sexy puppy videos and somebody can take your puppy is it a dog uh, it video is. and then bring it into uh, an editing environment and turn up the brightness and and turn down the contrast and then look what you say no. now youtube has caught some flack and they always get flack justifiably because they allowed these filter removal tutorials to stay on the website and many tiktokers are asking others to report these videos and channels that are showcasing how to remove this filter the corn drill challenge is a dare game which basically involves trying to eat an entire ear of corn that's spinning on your teeth will be gone your teeth will be gone immediately i've seen i feel like people were doing this i think i've seen people do this before tiktok this is like since like early youtube this is like how to lose all the teeth out your mouth like immediately on a power drill now there have been plenty of people attempting this challenge all the way back to like 2012 on youtube and it started to regain popularity on TikTok again, especially because of this TikTok from Jason Derulo. Why Will Smith don't got tea? Where he tried to eat the corn on the drill and it apparently chipped his tooth. Hey, have y'all seen this? I've always wanted to try it. I don't know, like, Jason Derulo always been like corny nigga. Like he just do some, he, I don't know, Jason Derulo always doing some corny ass shit. Life hack. 
This is this make anybody else uncomfortable? That okay. There's no way his teeth got like this nigga had to have veneers in. He had to have had veneers in. I'm not going with you. He had like the like, I'm not going <laughs> so. Uh, it was going kind of fast, but it wasn't going that like he had to have had veneers in. If his teeth was that fragile that it broke like that, he had to have had veneers in. I'm not gonna hold you. Like, and by the way, oh, suspect ass like this should look weird as hell. Oh, they said it was chipped. That joint is not chipped. Yeah, real funny, Mister Derulo. Of course, it's fake as hell because the next. Yeah, I was about to say, bro. Like, there's no way his joint. There's no way his teeth did that off that speed. Today, you can see a TikTok he made where all of his teeth are intact. And he also pulled another tooth prank where he faked losing his tooth again after he jumped into his billion dollar mansion's pool. And this trend also got massive exposure after a Chinese woman tried to do the challenge in 2016, but it failed. It failed pretty bad. Ooh, imagine failing that challenge, the corn challenge. Your teeth gonna be looking like the corn kid. I ain't gonna hold you. Shout out to the corn kid, you know what I'm saying? But like, he's gonna be looking like, bro. Oof. Oh no, can I, can I show this one? Oh no, did, did her hair get stuck in this? Mm. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I see the top up. I'm dripping like hot sauce. Nigga. Oh my god. Yeah, don't I feel like this should be just be a the poster child for why you shouldn't do this. Jesus fing Christ. These challenges are getting worse and worse. So this challenge is where you literally just pour hot wax all over your face. Then you get your buddies to slowly rip it off to get the cleanest shave of your life. I want to be honest, this just looks painful. The dangers of waxing your face. Do I really need to explain that? Like you're seeing the TikTok. They literally like pour the entire gallon of wax all over their face. People are so fucking stupid, bro. Hot wax? Niggas will end up with fucking third degree burns at that. The wax could obviously suffocate you if you don't give yourself the proper, if you don't like poke a little breathing holes for you. Your face has many delicate pores and sensitive areas that should get a proper facial from a proper professional instead of just getting I'm a the waxing equivalent of CBT. But yeah, just having your whole face ripped off with wax does not seem like a fun time. So the Orbeez challenge, which is technically the splatter ball challenge, is where you get the aforementioned splatter ball gun, one of these bad boys here, and you basically just go around town and you shoot everyone <laughs> you see with these splatter ball guns. I've seen these on- What? how to go to jail tutorial 101 and if you're if you look like me how to you know what i'm saying don't do that and the police pull up on you because then you know it's ggs for us bro it's sad but true bro it's like that's how on youtube where they basically do like splatter gun fights in like a walmart parking lot or whatever randomly shooting people with these orby balls i'd be mad if somebody randomly shoot me in gta with an orby gun bro like, I don't know them or nothing, bro. It's gonna cause some trouble. There's one story of someone getting criminally charged for shooting an Amazon worker in the neck with these splatter ball guns. There's also this story in Peachtree, Georgia, where police shared on Facebook that a child was riding his bike and then the local teens decided to shoot him up with these splatter ball guns. Now, this challenge used to not revolve around that splatter ball gun. It used to revolve around actual Orbeez and TikTokers would do DIY arts and crafts with them and make cool stress balls with the Orby. 
I remember this story about this French guy on TikTok who filled his bathtub with Orbeez, but then he like forgot to plug the drain. So soon Orbeez started filling up at his toilet, at his sink. And then later on, as he kept filming himself, he showed that the Orbeez had basically destroyed his entire apartment building sewage facilities. As you can see, Orbeez coming out the storm drain. There's I know you must have taxed bro like crazy. Bro ruined the whole piping system. They must have gave, bro must have had to pay like at least a, a, a mil in damages. I'm not going to lie to you. That's crazy. Orbeez coming down the street and everything. And of course, he's freaking out in French. And the local authorities later confronted him about the Orbeez because he uploaded footage of himself. Why, why would you upload it? Why would you upload it? Like, it, so snitching at his finest. That, that's all we got to say around with these Orbeez and putting them in the bathtub. Even Sonic the Hedgehog made a spicy meme about this incident. However, there are some that speculate that the French guy somehow faked this entire ordeal. I was gonna say it was fake until I seen it all in the sewers and everything like that in the mud. I mean, he could have just put it in the mud, but like, it looked like it was in the sewer and the sewer pipes too, which is kind of like hard to do. So who knows? And I couldn't find any evidence whether it's fake or not. I still think it's hilarious anyways. Pee your pants challenge. Okay. What do you Show me all do this in here already when y'all going to sleep. What do you think you need to do for this challenge? Come order in your hand. Fine. You just pee your pants. Huh. That's it. And you want- Does that actually work? Y'all ever seen that in cartoons when you put, when like somebody's sleeping and you put their hand in water and then they pee? Does that actually work? Like you, you put their hand in a cup of water and then they actually pee, does that, does that happen? Like, or is that like, welcome to factor cop. Is, is that a thing? Um, There's a thing called immersion diuresis, which is urination brought up by temperature and pressure change from an immersion, from immersing the body water but research suggests the whole limbs or the whole body needs to go underwater for this mechanism to work. A single hand isn't enough. Oh, so if you put one hand, if you put one hand in, it's not going to work. It's like somebody has to be like, hand, whole arm got to be submerged or something. Oh, oh. Want to know why they pee their pants? They just want views and attention. That's why they pee their pants. Views and attention. I could explain this entire iceberg by saying that all the people do these trends because they want views and attention. That's it. Okay, so this isn't really a challenge in the strictest definition, but in this case, TikTokers who are unsatisfied with how their teeth look decide to take matters into their own hands and they grab themselves a nail file and start, yeah. you know, smoothing out. Natural selection again. Very, very, very dumb tactics, by the way. Oh, their teeth, so they can get the rid the rough ridges out. Maybe in theory, it sounded like a good idea. It did. I guess, but of course, these TikTokers aren't professional dentists, and you could permanently damage your teeth. Some TikTokers have obviously filed their teeth too much and didn't realize that they were breaking away at their teeth for so long. And it caused them to experience higher sensitivity with their teeth when they eat hot or cold food. I don't know if y'all ever had sensitive uh, teeth before, but it's literally the worst thing in the world. It's literally the worst thing in the world when you drink something cold or when you drink something hot or something like your teeth literally feels all of that. It's the worst thing in the world. I haven't had, my teeth hasn't been sensitive since like, I think I was 12 or 13, but I used to have my whole bottom row TV used to be extremely sensitive. So anything I drunk, I literally felt the temperature directly on my shit. Literally the worst thing in the world. So for some reason, these people are intentionally doing that to themselves, which is crazy. Now they share my pain. And of course, dentists also warn against doing DIY filing because you can ruin your tooth structure by destroying your enamel. It will make it easier to get cavities and you can also get the aforementioned higher sensitivity. And if you fuck up real bad, you'd have to get extensive teeth care. And that is very, very costly. So when I just read dipping challenge on this iceberg, I didn't really think it could have been like anything too severe or stupid. I mean, I, I just thought like, oh, maybe you just like dip yourself in the pool or whatever. Nope, no, nope, no, nope. that's how wrong I was. The dipping challenge. How bad could it? How bad could it really be though? It came dipping doesn't even sound too crazy. I don't even know how bad this could really be like that though. No, no. That's how wrong I was. The dipping challenge is where dudes dip their nuts into. 
to sauce. <laughs> okay, you got me. I was fucking wrong, okay? Alright, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, bro. I remember this. Why do you remember this, nigga? Is where dudes dip their nuts into sauce. Apparently, this came from a study where scientists found out that mice can taste food through their testicles. So, naturally, I guess that led to TikTokers thinking, you know what? I'm the dude. Mice got balls? Damn. Okay, so why the fuck would. All right, bro. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to ask too many questions. I'm not gonna... Get my nuts game into is some game. sauce. It's not. It, the game is not game. See if I taste it. This TikTok trend got viral from one Alex James who decided to document his experience of dipping his testicles into a cup of soy sauce when he got Chinese takeout. I'm going to let my little boys just try it out. I'm... Oh, hell no. Literally feeding my twins i'm like yeah here you go boys <laughs> oh no he freaky as hell this is actually he he if he a freakazoid i ain't gonna lie to you he enjoyed that he didn't do it for no other reason but the fact that he enjoyed it he enjoyed it he enjoyed he enjoyed that that's why he did that he just he just freaked out as i ain't gonna lie now oh my god the gorilla glue challenge i think this is probably one of the worst ones on here I think many of you have heard of this challenge. It was all over like the news and it was it went like super viral on like TikTok and Twitter and most of the other social media platforms. It so was really that lady. This TikTok challenge started after a, a TikTok too. user, Tessica Brown, who after running out of hairspray, decided to use gorilla glue to And by the way, this is what I need like not all people are meant to have kids, not all people are meant to have houses not all people or not all people are meant to have houses is crazy i'm not gonna hold you but not all people are meant to own houses and not all people are meant to fucking have thoughts nigga because tessica brown has to be one of the most dumbest motherfuckers i have ever heard in my life i don't even know why for a second she would think to put gorilla glue in her hair but she did style her hair my hair has been like this for about a month now it's not my choice no, it's not by choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with a little got to be glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any. She sound like New York, by spray, the way. So I use this. Yo, look, my hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It that looks sprayed on. She had then she had to go to the hospital for that and get that fixed out. And then she sued Gorilla Glue. It's crazy. I'm back what I miss. Thank you for the three months. Appreciate you, second lieutenant. Shout out to you. Don't move. I've washed my hair 15 times and it don't move. Stiff wear. Woo! My hair. So I'm going to tell y'all like this. If you ever, ever run out of got to be glue spray, don't ever, ever use this unless you want your hair to be like that. <laughs> I mean, in other news, if you don't want to be hit by a car, if like on purpose, do not stand in traffic. Eventually, she had to take herself to the hospital. Fortunately, able to get her hair back after a plastic surgeon offered a free procedure to remove the glue. It should have been free. They should have just, they should have just gave her the Caillou and called it a night. So after all this unfolded, after Tessica's story went viral and everyone's heard of it, what do TikTokers decide to do? find out about how is that how is that fake like did these motherfuckers find out about gorilla glue like yesterday or something like gorilla glue st like it's glue and it's like very very strong glue it sticks to everything why did we act why are we acting like we just found out gorilla glue exists like this dude is a bot my brothers and sisters are going absolutely like going out in the saddest way possible and of course that earned him a trip to the er and he <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
I look stupid. <laughs> oh, that is crazy. Imagine going to the hospital for that, bro. Oh, shit, that's hilarious. He described the doctors peeling the cup off of his lips in an attempt to save his mouth. He even said they threatened to cut a part of his lips off in case they couldn't peel it off. Do I really need to explain any more? Don't use Gorilla Glue as a cosmetic product. Fractal burning is a method of burning pieces of wood using high voltage electricity. Now the burn marks would leave behind some like neat art, you know, like landscapes or trees or whatever. And some people would pour like colored resin on it to make the wood look cooler. So because this art practice involves it's interesting it should look dangerous though it's interesting burning pieces of wood and high voltage electricity i'm sure you can formulate in your head fire. the dangers that that might cause it will start a fire and you can also get electrocuted from the high voltage electricity that's needed to create these fractal burnings and unfortunately this challenge already has caused the death of a couple the remains of a 44 year old woman and a 52 year old man were Damn, found Harvey. after a house fire according to police a three-week investigation see with well, this one it's not like it's not as dumb as the other ones because the result is like pretty pretty like cool it's just like it's just scientifically not smart to do so especially if you don't got the resources and everything like that to do like something like that you know what i'm saying but it is like hella dangerous though and showed the two people died by electrocution before i don't know why started. i don't know why people most fractal that, that that that's that just spells out danger wood and anything regarding electricity just spells out danger i don't know why people were doing that but it's not as bad as the other ones earnings on tiktok are done by trained professionals in wood shops and they highly warn against those doing fractal burnings at home especially because according to the american association of wood turners 33 people have already died from attempting fractal burning so tiktokers are rubbing their fingers under their tongue because it feels like a penis From the TikToks that I've seen, many of them are women. You know, most of them don't have a penis, so we won't exactly know. But I can verify this trend right goddamn now. Let's see if this is true. Okay, I'm touching my willy, and I got the texture. Okay, see, there, okay, he's actually wilding though. See, he's actually, he's actually, <laughs> okay, he's tweaking, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, what it feels like. Now, let's rub under the tongue. Okay, see, he's actually, see if that's true. Okay, he's like, okay, okay, all right, all right. No, he's. I feel. I feel like very uncomfortable. He's actually fucking wild. Hmm. Well, salty. You know what? I think they're right. Oh no, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta verify this. Oh. Yo, like, can we cut this out? Can we cut this out, please? Because like, I just. Holy sh the surface underneath her tongue does feel like a dick. I don't know who discovered this. I don't know how this trend started. All the boys out there, and that's like 95% of my audience. Feel your tongue, feel the underneath your tongue. I wanna skip this part, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Yeah, pink sauce, let's go to that. That part just made me feel highly uncomfortable, I'm not gonna hold you. Is that true or not? This, okay. That, this is he didn't even say it was a joke after, so I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like a little concerned. <laughs> Okay. A big ass rabbit hole that TikTok fell into. I'm sure many of you have heard about the pink sauce. You know, just for the two of you that don't know, the pink sauce is a pink sauce mm. created by private chef and TikToker Veronica Shaw, AKA Chef P, which became viral on TikTok as many want to try the sauce out and the pink color looked kind of cool. So this led to Chef. Yeah. Guys, many want to try the sauce out and the pink color. She taking pink sh uh, sauce shots? I ain't gonna hold you, nigga. Her cholesterol levels went up by at least a thousand. Eat. Oh, hiccup. Ew. Nah. Uh, nah. Nah. It looked kind of cool. So this led to Chef P later putting the sauce on sale on her TikTok, which sold out a month later. 
It was so sick. It was super successful. And she later claimed that she would plan to partner up with Dave's Gourmet, which is a company that also makes the hot ones hot sauce to put pink sauce onto shelves. But then people got their hands on the sauce and good God, what the f what the f what the have any of y'all are and you know some Walmart now have any of y'all like actually tried it or nah I hope not I pray that y'all haven't is that oh my god yeah the pink sauce looks pretty rowdy dog people point out how different sauce bottles look different from each other people say that the color the amount of sauce in each bottle and the consistency everything about the sauce was kind of sus now, some shipments of pink sauce came up spoiled, like illegit smelled rain. Is this allowed? We, we already talked about the pink sauce like three different times, so I'm not going to go too deep into it, but it's, it's actually dead ass nasty. I don't know how anybody supported this. And said, and like it discolored really badly. Some speculated that it might be infected with botulism. Pink sauce contains milk, which when packaged improperly, leads to botulism growing in the sauce. Also, the labeling on the bottle is scuffed as well. Apparently, each bottle contains 444 servings, meaning that either the label's wrong or that you just only eat like a teaspoon of sauce per serving. Some allege that the pink sauce had unlisted ingredients, such as mayonnaise, which one, is a very illegal no-no, and two, they claim that the pink sauce was vegan friendly, which containing milk and eggs is obviously not vegan. The controversy over pink sauce was so heated that someone even faked their death, blaming the sauce as the reason of why they die. Even MatPat snuck his game theory schnauzer into the pink sauce. MatPat. I mean, I understand why people are doing it for like content though, not that this is a trend or anything like that. But like, I know MatPat took like 10 years off his life in GTA by eating one of these. And warned his audience from consuming it as it could cause health problems. So everyone collectively is shit on this sauce. And the response from Chef P didn't really help. When asked whether or not the pink sauce was FDA compliant, she said that the- I don't even know what the FDA is. Like she is so, I don't know bro. I still don't, we still don't respect her over here pink sauce didn't need to be reviewed by the FDA because it wasn't a medical product. What the hell? Does she not realize what the F in the FDA stands for? Anyways, she also made an appearance on Karamo Brown's talk show. This, we watched this on stream. This was bad, chat. This was bad. Remember we watched it and then as soon as we watched it, uh, this nigga took the video down because it was people was hating on her so much. This was bad. You can still find it on the YouTube channel for those of y'all who didn't see it. Yeah, we should just, we just, this is so, we just, we're just cutting half right there. It's four hours. I said as soon as it gets to four hours, we're cutting it. And then tomorrow, this is the first video that we're watching. Remind me, this is the first video we're watching tomorrow.